Hey guys, welcome back to Rudder Realty Golf Coast, where today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of new construction homes and what not to do when purchasing new construction. Let's start by talking about some of the many benefits of new construction. First, everything is new. All of your appliances should be new and energy efficient, reducing your monthly expenses. And because the home's new, insurance costs are gonna be less expensive than an older home, which puts money back in your pocket every month. Newer homes also tend to hold their values because the surrounding homes are new as well and conform to the same architectural style. Many developers have even started including resort style amenities within new construction neighborhoods, which is super nice. And second, you don't have to inherit other people's problems. Our state is buyer, a buyer beware state, putting much of the responsibility of finding issues with a home on the buyer, except in the case of new construction, which shifts the responsibility to the builder. Because of this, most builders furnish home warranties, giving buyers peace of mind in the event issues were to rise in the future. Third, it can be less expensive than purchasing a resale home. We've already talked about the reduced insurance costs, but utility costs and loan costs are typically less expensive on new homes as well. Builders achieve cheaper loan costs by partnering with preferred lenders who will not only give you money towards closing, but they will also typically have lower interest rates. So even if a new construction home has a higher purchase price, it might be significantly cheaper than a resale home. For example, let's say you're deciding between a resale home for $350,000 or a new construction home for $400,000. Now, $50,000 is a big difference, but let's see how this looks on a monthly basis. If you purchase the $350,000 resale home at a 7% interest rate with $2,600 in insurance costs, that might be a mortgage of around $2,800 a month. But if you purchase the $400,000 new construction home with a 5.5% interest rate, with the reduced insurance of $1,200 a year. And yes, it can make that big of a difference, especially in coastal areas like where I live. Your mortgage could be around $2,600 and that's $200 cheaper than the resale home. And that doesn't even include the money that you're gonna to get towards closing costs or the possible savings and utilities you'll have every month because the home's more energy efficient. So yes, the new construction home might be $50,000 more expensive in purchase price, but it's actually cheaper month to month. So what are some of the cons to purchasing new construction? Typically, homes with a new development, are they all look very similar. There are very few of any mature trees and lot sizes can be small to maximize the amount of homes that can fit into a particular area. Also, many developments are starting to feature community mailboxes, which people might not be crazy about. And because the neighborhood hasn't been established long, when the developer hands over the HOA, they could change the rules and then the values of the homes can depreciate. Another con might include issues with the development of land, such as drainage problems or sinkholes or other unforeseen issues, or a delay in the construction of your home itself. Now, if you still want to purchase new construction, here's the biggest mistake that people make whenever they're purchasing new construction. They walk into the model home, they speak with the builder's agent, and then they fill out a purchase agreement without representation. You have to understand that the agent sitting in the model home is working on behalf of the builder. So they will not represent your interest because they represent the builder. They also won't tell you everything to ask for because they work for the builder. They might give you the standard money towards closing costs to make you feel good, but there is so much more. I've helped buyers get free blinds, washers, dryers, floors, paint, refrigerators, fences, screened in patios, and the list goes on and on. You might think I'll have to pay for an agent's services, but the builder pays for your representation and it's already included in the purchase price. Some people may think if they don't use an agent that the builder will come down on purchase price since they're not paying for the buyer to have representation, but they'd be wrong because builders rarely ever reduce the purchase price because it hurts the future comparable sales for their upcoming builds. That's why builders continue to raise prices over time so that they make more money per home as they finish a development. Or if the market's declining, they start offering a bunch of incentives so that they don't hurt the property values. So the next time you walk into a new construction neighborhood, tell them you're working with an agent so you can have representation. And if you don't, have a great agent or no one, give me a call and I'd love to help. 
I hope this information has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like this video, like it. And if you're watching this on a medium, you can subscribe. Feel free to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace and God bless.